Shalom Akim, first and foremost. I want to give all praises and all glory to the true and living power, which is Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Bahashem Raka Kwadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son. And there is no God beside them. And I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who definitely rule well, who have taught us this truth. And honors and citations to the elect Akim, doing these works in sincerity and in truth. So, yeah, man, I, I just want to get into a lesson on how, you know, uh, dealing with Yahweh Bashan Shai, the Lord, you know, does things drastically so that people will, would get the message. Because, you know, that's really the only way for the Lord to do things with how rock-headed two-thirds of our people are. So the Lord has to do it insanely insanely drastic. Yeah. So, you know, furthermore, to explain what I'm what I'm all trying to get into is well, I was thinking about um this dude uh, uh the Bishop Nate of the IUIC and um you know not to uh uh, uh, really get on him, you know. He's a, uh, uh, I'm like a babe, a babe compared to him. You know, he he goes way back, so it's not to like, uh, uh, you know, not to like get on him like that, but uh, just to make a point for edification, man, that I, that I noticed is because uh. I remember, man, I was just meditating, you know, on the name of the Lord and uh, how some people, you know, if they knew, if they knew the, if they knew the true name, Yahweh Bashem Hashai, they would, they would vex the Lord, you know, look how, look what they do with the name of uh, uh, Jesus, right? You got people making all different skits. You got Medea, Medea, who he's a freak, he's a freaking a cross a crisscrosser right he's a crisscrosser and he be saying oh jesus this jesus that so look what they do you know you got moles they call on the name of jesus and disrespect the name of jesus so imagine if they had the true names of yahweh basham outside they would just vex the lord and then and then i got to thinking like wait hold up somebody did Somebody did uh, uh, violate the Lord's name, and it was Nate. And I saw the video with my own eyes, and it re and it resurfaced. And you know, he wrote the name of the Lord on a rock. He's like, "Look, look at this." You know, it's the name Yeah. And then and then another thing he said he scorns. He said, "I scorn when I hear somebody saying the name Yahweh because I know the spirit of evil is there." You know. So he was talking hella smack against the Lord's name as if uh, 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 these other people talk smack on the name of Jesus, man, which that's, of course that's not his name. But people think that that is his name and look how they treat it. So how much more with the true name? But then you got this guy, Nate, who actually did belittle the Lord's true name. So then... You know, what are we just supposed to forget about that? Because now, you know, he was in not the hospital, which we're not rejoicing. You know, we ain't popping bottles for that. We're not rejoicing for that. You know, we're not cheerful for that. All right. Um, The scriptures actually say. Let me uh, get that real quick. Oh, my fault. This is uh, Ecclesiastes, chapter 8, verse 7. Rejoice not over thy greatest enemy being dead, but remember that we die all. Oh, so Khan, yeah, but um, I forgot that it mentioned uh, being dead. <sighs> yeah, I thought I thought it said, uh, rejoice not over thy greatest enemy when he falls, roughly paraphrasing. 
Well, uh, that, that goes into, yeah, I was mixing two descriptions together. You know, happy see I live it to see the fall of his enemy. But uh, let's go going into ultimately Esau, man. You know, Esau eat him. See, it's, it's all about the context, man. All right. So even with that guy like uh, Comfy, you know, we're not uh, rejoicing or pop, popping bottles or nothing like that. But that's neither here nor there, man. You know, they can say what they want to say. But the point is, you know, the Lord ho hospitalized him. And that was for making fun of the Lord's name and whatever whatever else he's doing behind closed doors. But part of that is definitely for making fun of the Lord's name. Right? So... You would think certain people would put two and two together, but that's just how you how Bashar Mashai do. You know, he he doesn't want to save every single person that that hears about this truth is just for the hopeful elect. So that's something that we always got to keep in mind. But uh, you know, if 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 they were smart, if they were wise, they would put two and two together. Like, man, I remember he was uh, uh, making fun of the name. You know, doing this, doing that, and now, now, now his ass is hospitalized. Shoot, maybe, maybe you know, maybe the Lord ain't nothing to play around with. because hey, brothers was resurfaced them videos back up, and they put them back up uh, uh, on YouTube, man. Like, yo, remember this? So, you know, something as small as that. Someone that's wise, someone that is truly wise, someone that truly fears the Lord, someone that's truly sincere, they're going to put two and two together, which ultimately that's the elect. The elect is going to put two and two together and say, yo, you know, yo, that's, you know, that's, that's ain't nothing a coincidence, man. All right. But then the rockhead uh, two thirds, they're going to still be in their pride, you know, loving their positions. Hey, you had men. Doing the Tommy Howard shy, man. The wicked scribes and Pharisees that love their position. They love their position, man. They said, well, what, sh what, what should we do? He do many great miracles. If we let him alone. Let me, let me, let me just see how I get that scripture, man. <laughs> Yo, man. Here it is right here, man. The Wadi al Bashar John 11 and 47. Then gathered the chief priests and the Pharisees a council and said, What do we? For this man doeth many miracles. If we let him thus alone, all men will believe on him. And the Romans shall come and take away our take away both our place and nation. See? So you had ninjas back then that love their status and love their position. Okay? Within the Roman Empire over their people, man. So it, it was nothing, nothing that could spiritually happen. <laughs> well, there is something that could spiritually happen, but uh, you know, yeah, all things are possible with Yahweh Shemashai. But the Lord got them so far gone that uh, pretty much, man, yeah, even if something like that happened, like like with this instance with Nate, with with Nate. Not to get on him, but just speaking in edification's sake. You know, he gets hospitalized after making fun of the name of the Lord. And that can't even, uh, uh, that don't even ring a bell. Because why would it when they got all the, they got all them people clapping their hands as they enter the building. Nate is hooking them up with a wife. You know, so, hey, they getting, uh, uh, they getting poom poom, you know. They getting poom poom every night, right? Uh, uh, thanks to Nate. All right, they getting poom poom every night. They they're able to have kids. They're able to combine incomes, right? With wifey, uh, you know they 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 got they got a, a a brotherhood, right? They 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 see a a, a lane. They see a lane where they can 
still do music. They can still do acting. Because they said that IURC is uh, going to start making movies or whatever. So they, they see a lane. You know, yo, I, they're like, yo, I could, I could, there's room here to grow, you know, not as a, 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 a true man of the Lord, but as with the gimmicks. So they're content and they're happy, you know, but it, just, just to bring it back home, this is all the reason of why you, how Bashar does things drastically, you know? Like uh, how he's pretty much like how he's going to um, because pretty much, man, the Lord delivers a message, man. All right. The Lord knows how to deliver a message. OK, nobody knows how to deliver a message like the Lord, man. OK, you got a uh, 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 got Mexican cartels out here and. They'll they'll try and like they'll catch an enemy or deliver a message in a, in a in a crazy way to show, you know, we on top. We, you know, we are to be feared, you know, or, or, or we 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 don't show no weakness. And they call themselves being able to deliver a message. Man, listen, man, the scriptures say, man, the day of the Lord cometh cruel. The heathen call him a demon-like power man. They, they don't even uh, 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 show up on a damn scale compared to how about Shemal Shai, man, and how he delivers, how he can deliver a message to you, man. All right. So, you know, the point is, what the Lord is getting ready to do. All right. Every, to, to, to anybody who ain't on his good side To two thirds To false prophets And then ultimately to America It's gonna be A message to where you can no longer deny Alright And um I think that's in a Like dude He's gonna destroy this place with With a He's gonna destroy this place with 200 million missiles man all right, coming out the warheads. It's gonna be about two hundred million missiles. Okay, that's delivering a message, man. That's delivering the message to show you don't ever, 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 man, be like America, man. Don't ever, ever, uh, uh, uh run a place or even think about being wicked like this place was. Okay, then he's gonna round up Esau. And he's going to deliver a message to Esau. Okay. To say, don't you ever fucking put your hands. All right. On my chosen people, man. Okay. On my people. Don't you ever fucking put your hands on them, man. See, by making them do a thousand years, what you did to them, they're going to do double to you for double the amount of time. Then they're going to burn you off the face of the earth, man. No, nobody know how to deliver a message like you. How about Shimmy? How was shy, man? So this is uh, Jeremiah 16 and 21. Because otherwise, the, the people won't get it. They won't get it, man. The scriptures say the whole head is sick. They are going away backwards, man. So the Lord can't even do uh, uh, little things to, to Israel no more, man. So now he has to do things drastically with a uh, henceforth Jacob's trouble. Jacob's trouble is going to be drastic. To deliver the message, don't you be fucking wicked, man. Don't you go against what the Lord says, man. Don't you mock his messengers. Don't you wish this and wish that of evil upon his men. Don't you ever do that, man. Now the Lord is going to deliver a message in a drastic way to explain that to you, man. And then the Lord is so terrible that Proverbs, the first chapter says, you're going to say, oh, Lord, please. I'm sorry. Please, Lord. 
please, all right, I'm sorry. I, I, I'll do what you want. I'll follow the Lord's statutes of commitment. I'll listen to your men. Where are they, Lord? I'm sorry. Please, please, Lord. And the Lord is so cold with it. He just going to. He's just going to mock you, man. <laughs> he's just going to laugh at you while he still destroys you, man. He's not even going to forgive your apology, man. It's going to be too late. So this is a Jeremiah, man. Jeremiah 16, 21. Therefore, behold, I will this once cause them to know I will cause them to know mine hand and my might. And they shall know that my name is Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. See? So when the Lord delivers that message, man, you're going to know he's the one behind it. You're going to know he's the one doing it. And you're going to know not to mess with Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. You're going to know not to be prideful. You're going to know, man, not to uh, 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 willfully sin. You're going to know it doesn't pay to be willfully ignorant, man. You're going to know, man, it ain't cool to be wicked. When the Lord delivers that brutal or uh, uh, drastic message right at your doorstep, man. Like a damn Amazon package, man. Okay? Because that's the only way the Lord can get through to you people, man. So, hey, you how about Shem al That's why... Yahweh Shem Al Shai is the beginning of fear, man. And the fear of the Lord is his treasure. Fear of the Lord. What you think is the driving force? You know, part of the driving force of us, besides Yahweh Shem Al Shai putting his spirit upon us to go out there in the highways and byways, what else you think is the driving force for us being out there every single week, in season and out of season? Because we fear the Lord, man. You know? Like myself, man, just for, use myself as edification. Hey, I would say I have faith in the Lord, man. Okay? I would say, Lord willing, I'm of the hopeful elect. Right? I would say I'm not wicked. But when you uh, 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 pretty much find yourself in, like, certain situations, man, you know, you can... Just med sit there and meditate on how things could go left, man. Crazy. Real quick. And it would be your how about Shemar was shy, man. You know? <laughs> like, you met quick example, man. Matter of fact. Hey, uh, I had to get uh new tires. I noticed my tires went bold. Was getting bold. And I was just thinking, yo, man, if the Lord won it. My, my tire could bust on the highway doing like 90 miles per hour and then I get macked up and be a vegetable until the missiles come. Mm -hmm. You see? So I, I, that's just the constant fear of the Lord that I always have, man, of how any the Lord could do anything unto you, man. You know? So you think I'm going to turn my back? <laughs> So you think I'm going to turn my back on the Alba Shai and not go out on the highways and byways no more? Every single, every, mm -hmm. man, if I'm thinking think about that now, like, yo, you got to fear the Lord. That would be enhanced times, times a hundred. That would be amplified times a hundred, man. You know? So we always got to consider the fear of the Alba Shai, man. You know, look at you choke on a fucking chicken wing, man. While you eat, while you eating dinner. Okay, the Lord ain't nothing to uh, 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 play with, man. But that's why I said with the balance, though. You know, I definitely believe I have faith, man. Believe Lord will, and I'm of the hopeful elect. You know, which we all should have that confidence, man, because that that pleases the Lord. Without faith, it's impossible to please the Lord, man. All right, but at the same time, we also got to fear the Lord. So, Lord willing, this was edifying. And I mean, you know, just to say, man, we got the message before we we needed a, a, a drastic one. We been got the message, man, to fear Yahweh Shemal Shai, man. 
to not be wicked, to repent. We been got the message, man. We don't need a drastic uh, 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 message, man, from the Lord to get it. So, low one was edifying. With that, I'm going to say shalom.